What's up guys? Welcome to another episode here at Trail Militia. Today, we're going to do a walk around on the Bronco. I've had a lot of questions asked about the Bronco. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can. I'm going to show you the buttons. I'm going to show you the tires, rims, get a little bit up, up close and personal with the Bronco today. We've driven it now for about two weeks. I'm not 100% um, like comfortable with it just yet. I haven't even used auxiliary switches. Um, you know, I've toggled on and off the lockers and sway bars and all that. But today, we're going to do a walk around, show you where all the buttons are, show you what I've done and um, removed and all that good stuff and i'll just give you a solid opinion of uh what i think about the bronco so far in two weeks so uh stick around i'm gonna set up the truck up and then uh we'll get going all right so the first things first let's talk about styling i think ford actually nailed the styling if you look at one of the older broncos that's the two-door coupe and you match it to this it just looks gorgeous the lights look good the grills on point and then you know the actual body the square body they nailed it they didn't do what chevy did with the trailblazer they actually got it right big ups to ford and knocking that part out. All right, another thing that I really wanna talk about is the trim level, year, how I got it. First and foremost, the trim is the Badlands. So this is the base Badlands. It has no other extra packages, no Lux package, no Sash Quash package. And I'll tell you guys why I didn't get that. Um, but it is a 2021. They don't have a 2022 just yet. But yeah, so this is the Badlands two-door hardtop. So that's the trim level. But other than that, the only, you know, I had the one question I do get asked a lot is how did I get it? You know, how did you manage to come up on a Bronco that nobody else can get? Basically what I did is, as soon as the reservation opened, um, I don't know if you guys were checking that out, but they went live. Ford um, had a thing on ABC and then the whole reservation system started that night. So that's what I did. Literally within seconds, I was able to pre-order it. But I also think if you ordered a two door, you're getting a lot luckier than the four door guys are because they're having problems with the roof where the two door is not. So uh, with that being said, yeah, that's why the Bronco is here. All right, so one thing that uh, a lot of people ask me too is like, why didn't you get the Sasquatch pack? So the Sasquatch package comes with 35s. It comes with a little bit better gearing than what I got. And I think the shocks are a little bit different too. The reason I didn't end up getting that package is because if you guys watch our channel, um, we do modify pretty much everything we get like most people do. So we're planning on going either 37s or 38s right now, wider stance. So all that stuff that it comes with, I'm basically removing it. So it makes no sense for me to pay for it just to take it off. Now the gearing would have been a little cooler to have just so I could have a lower range, but I'll eventually end up re-gearing it anyways. So then I could kind of choose where I want to go. More than likely I'll probably go 48 once the tires are bigger and they make the pinion gearing for it. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much why I didn't choose the Sasquatch package. We'll dive into the features of the Badland next. All right, so part of what comes with the Badlands is um, you get sway bar disconnect, you get front and rear lockers. It comes with all the GOAT modes. So you get Baja, you get Rock, you get Slippery. We'll show you some of them, some of those activations on the screen as we go. Um, it also does have the turn assist and the Badlands also comes with all the auxiliary switches. First edition, the Badlands and the Wild Peak have the auxiliaries pre-wired, which is pretty dope because if you get your Bronco, you can tell up here, it'll say accessory ready. So all the ports where normally people put lighting and stuff like that, it'll say accessory ready. It's all pre-wired, basically lock it, and then uh, the switch pretty much is just activated on and off. So it's like having a Switch Pro or having to install one of those little panels where you push the button and start your lights out. That's the key features for the Brat Badlands. It comes with skid plates, metal bumper. Basically, it's similar to like buying a Rubicon if you buy a Jeep. All the steel goodies come, in, come with it. So obviously, you guys can see my skid plate has been used, uh, but yeah. The Badlands again comes with sway bar disconnect, front and rear lockers, all the goodies on the inside. And another cool thing is Badlands comes with the orange trimming. So if you look inside of the interior and all the badging, it all has the orange flavor on it. So if you look at the badge here, it comes with orange. And then if you look at the inside, once you dive into the interior, it has little accents. So you get that orange there, the orange here, and then all the stitching on your seats is orange. That only comes with the Badlands. You can't get it on any of the other models. All the other models have their own unique color to them. That's one of the cool things about Broncos. Um, they did do a lot of special touches to um, your particular package pretty much. So yeah, we're gonna keep diving into some of the other things. All right, so I wanted to show you the interior and some of the key features on here. In the Badlands, I'm not sure what the other um, models look like, but in the Badlands, you get all the goodies right here. So bar disconnect is here and it's pretty instant. You push it. Um, right now I'm not able to activate it because it's only available for high, for high and for low. But sway bar disconnect, front and rear lockers, and then you get that awesome turn assist. So I'll show you what that looks like because it's pretty amazing. It basically lets you do a donut. It's kind of weird how that feature works. But honestly, if you need to make a turn on the pinch, um, it's pretty useful. And then we also have obviously, you know, you want to boogie a little bit. You take all the ABS and traction control off. And then obviously you got your blinkers here. So another cool thing that uh, Ford did is they put a little um, section where you can kind of screw some Something on so you can put a tablet holder your phone holder whatever you want to do I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of accessories that are going in this point but everything's got pretty much thought out all your auxiliary switches are right here you turn them on off none of these are wired now I don't have any accessories on yet but this is pretty useful because now you don't have to worry about wiring you don't have to worry about it being messed up because it's all insulated and hidden away 
So that's that's another pretty dope feature that I wish um, pretty much all the other companies did with any of their off-road vehicles. Toyota, Jeep, all your TRDs and all the, you know, all the high level trims should pretty much wire all your stuff. Everybody else is putting lights on them and everything else. Um, the rest of the interior, I mean, it's pretty basic. This is pretty uh, unique to Ford and the Bronco. Um, you got the Bronco emblem here. Again, all the orange trimming from the Badlands. I mean, the infotainment system, it's, it's the Ford Sync. It's whatever their new system is. So I will show you how the GOAT modes go. Basically, right now, you can kind of mess with all the systems, power distribution, pitch and roll. There's a lot of options to kind of customize this screen itself. And then you can go with the GOAT mode. So right now it's in normal. I'll show you what the GOAT modes look like. And then we can go into eco mode. All the graphics are pretty dope. And then they're slippery. And then they start shifting into four wheel drive for you. Mud and ruts, sand, Baja mode. That's the party mode right there for sure. And then rock crawl. And that's pretty much it. So rock crawl puts you in four low. It has its unique features that you can change anyways whenever you feel like it. It puts you in four low and then it's gonna go ahead and disconnect your sway bar and also um, lock the rear. So if you guys don't want the rear locked, you can still disconnect it yourself. All the features will come on. It'll tell you like certain things you have to do like shift to neutral, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go back to normal. All the, um, the little infotainment system and everything they did with the graphics here, it looks super cool. I mean, they have a little bit of a lag, but it's not that bad um, and everything else is digital. This is cool because they kept it analog, but everything else is digital, so it looks really nice. Steering wheel's comfortable, seats are comfortable. Um, this um, model comes with the, you know, the silencer top, I guess. I mean, when Jeep, when you buy the Rubicon, this is actually not standard with that model. You have to pay for this extra stuff. So we went to the Yoda Trader meet already and did that. But yeah, this um, actual model comes with, you know, a lot of things that the other ones do too. Um, you get a Molly panels behind the seat. They all have nets. I'll show you guys the back seat shortly so you can see the size, but. The back seat compared to some of these other ones, pretty awesome because it actually fits a full adult back there pretty comfortably. That's the interior. And uh, we'll break down the trunk shortly and I'll show you the, the rear seats. All right, so for the uh, the rear seats, this is the two door. You know, it, compared to a Wrangler, I've sat in one of those and honestly, there's not that much space. And the Ford Bronco, they did a really good job with uh, the matting. So this is the model that also comes with all the rubber um, inserts and then you can take it off and rinse it all off. Uh, but they did a really good job. They put cup holders back here and um, there's plenty of space. Honestly, we've had a, my buddy's uh, six foot one. He sat back here just to test it. Yeah, the trimming is awesome. They did a really good job with the stitching. Shout out to Midland too. See, camera radios everywhere. That's the rear seat and how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys the trunk and the rear because uh, there's some things back there that are kind of an eyesore for me. But for you guys, it might be all right. So stick around. All right, so this final part, it's one of the parts that I probably dislike the most out of the whole situation. I know a lot of the other trucks are like this too. Like the Jeep, I think is exactly the same. But this rear window, because of the tire. I just wish this slid down kind of like the Forerunners, like back in the 90s or some of the newer ones also do that, I think, uh, but it doesn't. So we have to open the gate pretty much all the way out to be able to open up the window. It does swing out pretty nicely. It's cool that they, they put a hydraulic shock on it. Um, and then, you know, obviously this is normal, but that's what the trunk looks like. I mean, there's not a ton of space, but if you're buying it to have a good time, you're normally not gonna carry much, um, but we do have a nice little tote. I don't know what size this tote is, but it's probably a medium sized tote, small Yeti air compressor, hoses, and there's still plenty of space to put other things if you really wanted to. Honestly, a nice 60 liter ice core or something like that. There is an auxiliary plug right here that's 12 volt. Um, these come standard, I think, in every single model too, so that's cool. But yeah, you can connect it there. It runs through and it has battery safe too. So it's really awesome. So it also does come with tie downs. So that's another big plus because I've seen trucks that don't have these. Definitely a positive. You know, and all these seats also uh, all do recline down. So you can pull this strap that goes down and it basically goes flat. Like if you want to take the T-top the off, you can fit it in here. I have yet to remove the the actual shell itself i haven't done it yet so i'll make another video um follow us on instagram and you'll see it there because i don't need a full size video for that but if i do go best top i think i am it switches out some of this stuff um i'm not sure how it's set up yet but yeah the best top does the does the t-top setup and they do have a full setup uh we might do it just so like when we go to the beach or something cool like that maybe pismo or something we don't have to worry about removing it we can kind of just shove it back put it away and still have fun with the you know open roof but yeah that's what the bronco looks like from the back that up but yeah this is one of my biggest pains like i said and excuse the dirtiness because i you know this is not like paid by anybody else this is actually my bronco we will be driving it nobody's telling me to you know say anything that i'm supposed to say i guess you can say um i'll tell you what the sores are for me um really right now the only thing i'm really not happy with is the window which is weird for me it's kind of one of the things that i 
I wish they could just go down into the trunk. That would be cool. And then space-wise, it's a two-door, so I don't expect a huge trunk anyways. But yeah, that starts. We'll do some closing statements, and then we'll close you guys up. All right, team, so that wraps it up. If you guys have any more questions about the Bronco, hit me up. I'll do my best to answer them. A lot of the features and stuff you'll see in the channel later on or in, um, like, short Instagram videos. I'll show you guys turn assist. I'll show you guys all that stuff. I just wanted to make sure that I showed you guys a quick walk around of what my Bronco looks like. It's going to change like pretty much drastically. Hopefully in two years, we'll be able to actually turn it into a race truck and uh, race it at King of the Hammers. That's really my goal. Link the rear and then long travel the front. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, the Bronco's here with me. I can check it out for you guys if you want. Come to one of the runs. It'll probably be there. But yeah, appreciate you guys. We're going camping this weekend. Uh, make sure you check out Patreon. Keep it locked on Instagram. And obviously YouTube. The goal still 1K. Help us get there. Share the channel. Tell them, hey, look, nobody drives a Bronco harder than that guy. Yeah, that's a wrap. Huge shout out to Josh for helping me film this section. Um, I wanted to make sure that I got the shots a little bit better. I appreciate you guys sticking around. We'll see you next time.